chemical properties. In their chemical behavior, oils and fats resemble the simple ethers, simple ethers, and exhibit their usual reactions. The first chemical property is hydrolysis. Fats and oils can be readily hydrolyzed by treatment with superheated steam or mineral acids or alkalis. So, example, this is a fat or oil. Uh, when we treat it with water, it forms glycerol. That means all these groups are replaced by OH groups here. And uh, these RCOO forms acids they form acids corresponding to different alkyl groups r c o h r dash c o h r double dash c o h hydrolysis in presence of steam or mineral acids provide a mixture of free fatty acids and glycerol as you can see in this reaction in the presence of steam and mineral acids, they form glycerol plus fatty acids, a mixture of fatty acids. In fact, disagreeable smell of stale fats, that means uh, rancid, right, basse, or oils, is often due to the presence of traces of bad smelling fatty acids formed as a result of slow hydrolysis of fats and oils by atmospheric moisture. That means these acids formed here, which are foul smelling, due to these, uh, they impart a bad smell to the mixture, to the fats or oils. But the hydrolysis by alkalis firstly we did by steam or mineral acids now by hydrolysis with alkalis gives rise to a mixture of salts of fatty acids and glycerol since the salts of fatty acids thus formed are used as soap alkaline hydrolysis is commonly known as saponification so let us see at the reaction this is uh, these are the fats or oils when we add sodium hydroxide, uh, this is an alkali, uh, glycerol is formed and a mixture of salts of fatty acids. Earlier fatty acids were formed here, RCOOH, now sodium salt of fatty acids are formed. The process of saponification is the basis of, of soap industry. Therefore, it is carried out at large scale.